Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another fabulous Tuesday night. It is HSN Gets Crafty with yours truly, Suzanne Runyon. How are you all? Oh my goodness, so much to share with you tonight. We have to tea. I got tea. And we've got a lot of fun stuff to get through. Lisa Horton's joining me and she hasn't been on in a hot minute with us. And she's joining us from England. It's 1 a.m. And I love it when all of our English girls and guys join us because... God bless him for doing it so early in the morning. And she's very excited. And we've got great product, of course, from Lisa. I love her so much. I love her work. But first and foremost, if you did not see it yesterday, please go check it out. I'm sure it's posted on YouTube somewhere. And I'm sure it's on hsn.com. We had the most amazing event yesterday. It was a, well, it was a 24-hour crafting event. And three of the hours, we had a live audience. And it was so fantastic. Do, it was it was 19 women and yours truly, do it. Yeah, do it, hi. Okay, back up. We need oh, to see yeah. the outfit while you're there. Turn, turn, please. We want to see the whole thing. And he does have matching sweatpants to go with that. <laughs> is that like a leisure? Of course. Suit? Is that a leisure? How do you just ask last leisure look for guys? I, I like athleisure a lot. Do, That's I what I'm going to go with. Leisure's good. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, do it just really quickly. Um, it was it was 19 women, and do it was there. What he, he spent the day with the gals. Okay, and and I got to meet him, and it was just the coolest thing. And do it. What was your reaction to it? What do you think? Oh, I mean, we know our customer and our viewers viewers are amazing, but they really blew me away. I mean, that was a great group of dynamic women, and we just had the best time. It was so I mean, it fun. was so much fun. Yeah, they were so enthusiastic, too. Okay, so um, just want to first off say hi to everybody. If you're brand new, please put first timer in the comments. Got to say hi to YouTubers. We have a ton of people watching us now on YouTube, which I love that, too. And we are monitoring YouTube, so you can make comments over there. If you are a first timer, hello, hello. If you've never seen the show, it's all about creativity. I was explaining to one of the gals who had not seen the Tuesday Night Show uh, yesterday, and she she said, well, what do you do? And I said, oh, it's very different than what we do on the air because while I still speak quickly, we actually slow down and really talk about the products and you get an in-depth look and I create and Lisa creates and it's a very different experience. And she was like, oh my gosh, she goes, I got to watch it. So first of all, I hope all the new first timers welcome. And it is a neat experience and it is very different. And one of the other gals chimed in. She goes, oh, you know how fast they have to go on the air? She goes, no, no, no. In the show, they really get to look at the products and we get to create with them. So hopefully you'll be inspired by the time we're done. All right, Donna Lane is joining us from Suzanne from yesterday. It was an amazing show. The deals were amazing. I bought too much. Donna, thank you. Thanks for watching it. Uh, Seal says, hi, Suzanne and Lisa, viewing from Pennsylvania. Well, hello. I'm going to do some shout outs over here. And we do shout outs to start with just to get everybody on board uh, because people just join us. Um, love to know what you bought yesterday. Love to know if you caught the three hour event. I hope you could just feel the excitement uh, from all the gals who joined us. It was just electrifying. They were the best group and we had so much fun. All right, so Patty's first up today in Rainy, Iowa. Hi, Patty. Marcia is here from Akron, Ohio. Debbie joining. She says, hi, Suzanne DeWitt and Crafting Cuties from Oregon. Lynette says, hi, Suzanne from Massachusetts. Carletta's in the house. Hi, hello, Suzanne and DeWitt from uh, um, uh, Arkansas. Lori's joining us. She says, good evening from Robert Lee, Texas. We have Kathy joining us from... She says, hi, Lisa Horton from Eagle Lake, Florida. Heidi says, hello, from humid Washington, D.C. Joy's in the house. She says, Suzanne DeWitt, Lisa, HSN Cuties from Riverdale, New York. We have Karen joining us from Spring Hill. Kathy says, yay, Lisa. It is a yay, Lisa, isn't it? Uh, we have Gayla joining us from Lumberton, North Carolina, which I know because I used to live in Fayetteville. Uh, we have Jennifer joining us from Tennessee. We have our Margaret. She says, hi, Cuties from Chile, Montana. Snow do again? Oh, you're going to have snow? Wow, that is kind of cool. I guess, unless you're sick of the snow. <laughs> It's only cool if you're happy with it. Christina, hi, Suzanne and Crafting Cuties. Beverly says hi from beautiful Smoky Mountains. Oh, I love the Smoky Mountains. They're gorgeous, uh, so, especially in the fall. Love Smoky Mountains in the fall. Susan says hi from West Harrison, Indiana. We have Donna from South Jersey. Hi, Donna. Carol from St. Petersburg, Florida. Carol is in the house. Uh, we have Kimberly joining us from Walla Walla, Washington. We have Sherry. She says hi, Suzanne and Lisa Horton from Mount Vernon, Washington. Oh, we got the east. We got the west. We got the middle. Sherry says hi from Murphy, North Carolina. Carolina. Agnes, it was awesome. Agnes, thanks for tuning in for it. Terry, hi from Virginia. Tom, he says hello from New Jersey. Hi, Tom. Welcome back. Uh, we have Agnes says hi, DeWitt. Our Margaret says wow, 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 DeWitt. Oh, loving your outfit tonight. Uh, Sherry, Sher uh, Cheryl's joining us from my home state of Ohio, another fellow Buckeye. Colleen, hi, DeWitt. We had so much fun meeting you. Oh, this is part of the gang that was there yesterday, too. Oh, it was so good meeting you guys. You know what? It's great. It was so cool. Agnes, best day ever. I love that. Pamela says hi from South Georgia. 
What a great day yesterday. Oh, thanks, guys. Maria says hello from Illinois. Darlene, she says love DeWitt's outfit. Carol, hello from Plantation, Florida. We have Colleen. Hello, DeWitt and Suzanne. Marcia said love the jacket, DeWitt. <laughs> They're all right. You're rocking the jacket tonight, buddy. Uh, Rhonda says hello from Branson, Missouri. Sandy is new. Hi, Sandy. Welcome to our little Tuesday gathering. Marilyn from New Jersey, a beautiful 70 degrees. Love, well, lucky you. Pam, first timer from Missouri. Hi, Pam. Vicki Dooley, love the new glasses. Thank you. I got these. This is so funny. You know you're getting older when. So we go to Tucson. I'm with Lynn Murphy, who's another host. And we're in Tucson for the big uh, gem show. And her and I get there. We're not five minutes in. The first thing we buy is our readers. Like this guy was selling them. And we were like, that's the very first thing we do. We're like, oh my gosh, your readers are great. I need to buy these. And we both bought like two pairs. Aren't they fun? So I'm kind of loving them. All right, here we go. We have Debbie. Hi, DeWitt and Suzanne from Nashville. Love Nashville. Uh, Margaret, hi from Baltimore. Hi, Margaret. Linda's here, or Lydia's here. Hi, she says, hi there. Laura says, first time we're from Missouri. Hi, Laura. Uh, we have Virginia joining us from Delaware. We have Mary joining us from the Tampa area. Hi, Mary. Um, we have Lou says, hello from Utah. Excited to see Lisa Horton. She needs to be on HSN Craft Day more often. Well, isn't that the truth? Uh, then we have Gala. I love the energy yesterday and I'm motivated to scrapbook again. Yeah, I'd love to know what you guys thought about um, Anna's scrapbooking kit, her Today Special. Um, I thought it was magnificent. I really did. And I thought they, they thought through it so brilliantly that anybody can do it. And that's tough for scrapbooking. Because if you all know back in the day, we all did those complicated pages and blah, 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 you know. And it was so difficult. Like you could make it, well, you can make it easy, but easy didn't necessarily look great, right? You had to zhuzh it up. So I thought it was so brilliant how Anna and her team figured out how to give you the look of something really complicated. But it was actually quite easy to do. You know, just piling it all together, throw the photos on. So really, I'm, I'm so happy for you guys who picked up the Today Special. All right, uh, let's see. We have uh, Gail here. We have of, uh, Margie here from Santa Claus, Indiana. Is that really a place? Uh, wow, it's my new favorite place. And me too. I've got to go to Santa Claus, Indiana. Tell, tell, can we confirm that? Can you confirm that? I, I'm sure it is, but I've never heard of it. I need to be there. Is the whole town like a Hallmark movie all year long? I would move there if it was like a Hallmark movie all year long. I totally will move there. I'll just be broadcasting over there. Uh, Myrna's joining us from Orlando. We have Chris. She says, hello, I am here. Well, welcome, Chris. Connie says, hi, Suzanne. Great show yesterday from Las Vegas. Thank you. It was so much fun. Kathleen, hello from South uh, St. Pete Beach. Oh, DeWitt, you rocked it last night. He did. He was, he was there. Kathy, hello from Lancaster, Ohio. Another Buckeye. Diane from Daytona Beach, Florida. Lisa, Linda says, hello, Lisa Horton Crafts. Can't wait to see you. Neil's here from Kent Island, Maryland. Hey, Neil. Uh, we have Georgia joining us. Hi, Crafting Cuties from Hudson Valley, New York. Is everyone credit card crying? <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> That's awesome. Debbie, thank you, HSM, for shipping special and great prices. Okay, let me stop right there, Debbie, because you reminded me. The shipping deal is going on today. So here's what's going to it. Did you want to see? You're creeping up on the little picture. I saw you. <laughs> you're just checking in. <laughs> Do it still there. <laughs> okay, so here's what's happening. Today we're honoring, because of Customer Appreciation Month, we did honor the 550 per day over three days. This is the last day of it. It's the last night of it. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to put a scan code up for Lisa's items or any of our crafting items. You've got to get it all in before midnight because you will, we will ship today all of your crafting items. And there it is, which will take you right to our products from Lisa and all. You can get to the other products too, right? Um, but tonight at midnight, that ends. So it'll only cost you $5.50 to ship all of your crafting orders, which means you might find something now, keep going, keep going to midnight. You will not spend more than $5.50. We only do it on special days. We did it for three days, which is amazing. We've never done that before, but tonight at midnight, it all ends. So you gotta get, even stuff you saw yesterday, get it in tonight, because you save a ton of money on shipping. I mean, it just, it helps a lot. Okay, I gotta kinda keep going. Um, Marilyn's here. Hello, Suzanne, great show. Yes, yes, dear. Real quick, I do wanna give this update. So, Santa Claus is a town in southwestern Indiana. It's known for its Christmas theme. Oh, Santa be. Claus Museum and Village from 1880. Uh, Santa Claus Post Office and a 1935 Santa Claus statue. Okay. I'm going to go see it someday. I, where, where is it? In southwest Indiana? Southwest Indiana. There we go, everybody. We got to meet. You know, we should, we should all meet in Santa Claus and craft. That would be so much fun. Oh, my God. Do you imagine doing a Christmas event in Santa Claus, Indiana? Oh, get out. Oh.
Oh my God, that would be so much fun. That would be really fun. Actually, we could do it early because everybody gets all the Christmas crafting stuff. They want it early. It's yeah. so, like we could do it maybe, you know, August, September. September would be a good time to do it. Oh, I'd love that to work out. All right, Tom says that event was amazing. Loved watching the ladies. Oh, Tom, thank you. Sharon says, love craft day yesterday. Hello from Alliance, Ohio. Colleen is here from Virginia. So many wonderful presentations yesterday. Beth from Erie, PA. She's in the house. Jennifer, loved the show yesterday. Sitting here now working on a craft uh, buddy crystal art item I bought last week during the live. Which one did you get? Because we had the, we had the, the storage containers, so there was two of those. What else do we have from Crystal Art? We had the storage containers. Did we do a bunny? Or was that somebody I showed somebody's bunny? You showed somebody's bunny. But we did. I can't. Anyway, if you didn't see last week, Crystal Art's really, really fun. It's super easy. It's very zen like, so obviously it's good for me because I'm a spaz. But if you go to, again, scan the code, it'll take you to our HS Inc. It's Crafty store and you can see what we did last week. And I'd love to know what you got last, last in our, during our live last week. And I hope you love it. Um, I really loved the. Oh, we did the big calendar. We had the calendar, we had the storage cubes. Mm, I'm trying to add one more thing. All right, Lori says it was spent. The keychain. The keychains. Oh, yes. And I'd highly recommend the keychain kits if you've got grandkids or kids or you're going to have a party or you want to get your girlfriends together to do it. They're quick and they look fantastic, which is great. Okay, thank you so much for the keychain. All right, Lori says, uh, I spent way too much yesterday. Uh, Lauren's here from California. Hi, California gals and guys. Sandy's joining from Michigan. Another Lori is here from Los Angeles. Look at all you from L.A. and out there in the... West Coast. Bonnie, hi Suzanne. Bonnie from Pittsburgh. Hello. Colleen, watching watching from Wesley Chapel, Florida. She's near us. Jackie, new here from San Angelo, Texas. Well, hello, Jackie. I hope you enjoy what we're going to do tonight. Uh, Karen says hi. DeWitt, Carol. Carol from Texas as well. Lydia is joining us from Odessa, Texas. Look, all the Texas people just got on at this exact same time. Karen's joining us from Kentucky. We have Linda from South Dakota. Marcy, I had the greatest time meeting you and DeWitt and all the amazing crafters at the craft event last night. It was beyond incredible. I had so much fun. HSM went above and beyond. Also, all the brand presenters were awesome, more than generous, and also so personable. Definitely a crafty dream come true. I am truly thankful to all involved. Marcy, thank you. Love, love, love. Like, and you guys were just equally as wonderful. I got to tell you, those girls walked away with so much swag. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Actually, DeWitt got so much, he brought some of it in for our studio. I'm like, thanks, DeWitt. Uh, they got, I mean, swag. Oh, we, you guys were asking online. So we have an HSN group. It's HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne, and it's our Facebook group page. And you guys were asking, because a lot of people were posting, oh, hey, how, do, how did you guys get invited? The, the, all the girls have joined us, right? Well, we posted on the HSN Gets Crafty page probably, I'd say, a month or probably two months ago, maybe three months ago, and said, hey, does anybody want to come in and do this live show? So if you're not members of our group page, please become them. Yesterday's event was Really fun and exciting for you guys watching at home, exciting for us. I am sure we'll try to do it again. It was a lot of work for everybody on the team because it was a huge endeavor. But I'm sure because of the success of it, we'll probably do it again. So just join the HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne Facebook group, and then you'll be able to see when we alert again. And so uh, just a little FYI, that's how people were selected to join us yesterday in the studio. So, uh, oh, we had one gal. She was adorable. Um, I'm going to forget her name, but she came all the way from Maryland. Maryland, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her oh, ah, wow. and I said her name on the air, and I'm sorry, I just can't remember everybody. But there's a lot of people. But anyway, I was so she came clear from Maryland to be with us yesterday. That was amazing to me. All right, Greer's here, Connie's here, Susan's here, uh, Mal uh, Malena's here, or Malin Malina, Mel M M A M A L E N A Malena. 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 Ma yeah. Melina, I got it right. Okay, I said it right the first time. All right, Patty, of course I watched yesterday. <laughs> Made a couple of uh, purchases. Your crafting cuties are amazing. Oh, they are, aren't they? Uh, Myrna, I bought a few of the deals with the Couture Creations letterpress. Excited. Oh, great. That's awesome. Terry's here, too. I know I got to go, don't I? I got to go. I'm getting the finger. By the way, they thought that was, the girls were like, oh, we love it. They were like, getting the finger today, and we're, they were all doing this finger. Not the other finger, but it was very cute because they got, everybody, get, I said, you know, I don't know if it's appropriate. I should say that every time, but I thought, yeah, I'm just going to. <laughs> all right, DeWitt indeed is giving me the finger. Guys, keep noting if you're brand new, I'll say hi to first timers for sure. Um, Fabi, uh, Fabi's joining us from Miami. Darlene's over there from, I don't know where she's from, yeah, but she's there. 
Uh, Daphne, oh, from Daphne, Alabama. Oh, cool. We have Donna joining us from, I'm not even going to say it, Wisconsin. Welcome. Elaine says, hi, Suzanne. So fun yesterday. Duet was looking good. Uh, Nettie says, hi, from Winter Garden, Florida. Oh, great. That's all my YouTubers. Hi, YouTubers. All right. So, guys, I'm going to keep um, Anissa. I hate not getting to everybody. So, everybody, I love your comments. Thank you so much. Uh, Kathy said hello from Southern Florida. It was a great yes, day yesterday seeing everyone together having fun. Oh, we do. It's such a good time. All right. So, I'm going to keep uh, on going. Oh, Donna, I ordered the TS. I thought it was wonderful. Thanks for your comment on that, too. And I will tell you, the TS is still available I, or the, from Anna. It's the Today Special. I don't know if it's still at the Today Special price. That's the only thing I'm not sure. Um, no, actually, it was going to be for only one day. So if you still want it, you can get it. It's going to be a little more expensive today. But you do get that shipping deal. Colleen said, shout out to all the HS employees. You are all so kind, and you made us all feel so special yesterday. I can't say enough about yesterday. Thank you. Well, Colleen, thank you for being there. All right. Uh, let's see. Al 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 Ayanna's album was amazing last night. Just trying to figure out why it was craft day yesterday, not today. Yeah, I don't know, Donna. I do not make the schedule. <laughs> uh, we just, they, they tell us when we're going to work, and that's when we show up. So I don't know why it wasn't it on Tuesday. It definitely confused a few people. We're, they're so used to Tuesday. I know, right? Yeah, I know. So sorry about that. Also, what I do, I try to post pretty heavily on HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne on, like, tonight's show and big craft days. So if you do join and you kind of keep following along, Pretty regularly, usually I try to be pretty aggressive about letting you guys know what's going on. All right, two things I got to do. One, uh, three things actually. Number one, I want to show you this. The, this is a group of gals. Oh, ugh. do I do it this yeah, way? Go overhead. Okay, this is a group of gals. They were adorable. They're the Crafting Divas, and they're from our local area. And they joined us. How cute is this? And they gave me this adorable picture of all of them. They actually all met each other online, actually in HSN's. Um, crafters companion group and they all realized they actually lived really close to each other so they became and they meet I think it was every week they meet and they gave me this picture so this will go on our set for sure also they gave me a gift now I have not opened this gift uh, so I thought I'd wait uh, wait if you can go to the area um, and I was gonna open it live so if it's a picture of a naked man or something then I'll be highly embarrassed but we're gonna I don't think it is <laughs> <laughs> and no, you wouldn't be. I wouldn't be? I'd die. <laughs> It'd be funny, though. It'd be pretty it would funny. It would be hilarious. I'd probably get about a whole bunch more views, I guess, but it would be. But I don't know what it is, so I thought I'd wait. And we haven't sunk to that level yet. We're, we're not there yet <laughs> for viewers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not that desperate. <laughs> we're getting close, but no, I'm kidding. All right, what is it? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Thank you. I posted this um, on our HSN Gets Crafty page, or someone else posted it and then I reposted it, I can't remember. Oh, look, and they redid it. Oh, I can't even stand it. It says, wanted, can't be trusted during HSN Craft Day. Crafty McCrafferson oh, may be armed with a glue gun, last seen stacking the UPS package center, disguising marks, low tack tape in her hair. Okay. Crafting Divas, you guys are the best, best, best. This is going to go home with me. I'm going to put your picture back here, but I'm taking this. I don't know. I might put this. would be kind of cute back there. I might have to put it back there. there yeah. Thank you, because I saw this, and then I, either somebody posted it, but I know I reposted it because I thought it was so hilarious. I love who there. That I'll tell you, all the girls yesterday were incredibly talented. So for you guys to take that and redo all this, Crafty McCrafterson. McCraft, Mc, love, love, love. Thank you. That is so cute. Oh, my God. That's adorable. And then I got one more person, and this is Carol. Carol, um, obviously, had been watching for a long time or had seen me for a long time, and she knew that my husband, uh, Craig, was uh, retired uh, from the U.S. Army. And they are uh, they were both, her and her husband, stationed at the Joint Base Andrews, um, and it's home of Air Force One, which is so cool. And she gave me this really neat... I guess I'll do it this way. This really good. Isn't this beautiful? So, Carol, thank you. I thought that was so wonderful. And I, I thanked her and her husband for their service as well. And she brought this for me, knowing that my husband had served and thanked me for his service. So, isn't that the neatest thing? I thought, how oh, lovely. And then one other shout out. This one cracked me up. There's a lovely gal. Unfortunately, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name exactly. Uh, but she came up to me and she actually, now tell me, you can tell me online if you guys know this. 
She has actually been watching me since my QVC days. And I was the very first host ever to do crafting on retail television. And I said, do you go as far back as Lisa Bernson? And she goes, yep. And I go, oh my gosh, we go way back. I mean, she goes back before my son was born. So it was amazing. So if you guys uh, also know who Lisa Bernson is, I want you to shout out. Because if you do, you have been doing scrapbook and crafting for an extremely, extremely long time. All right. So let's keep going. I know everybody and Jessica is on social with us as well tonight. So everybody's watching. So if there's any big comments, let me know, guys, and we will shout it out. Oh, love all the comments, guys. Thank you so much. Um, Dan Elsa. He looks so pretty tonight. Love the top. Why, thank you very much. Except he's sliding around. <laughs> you can see my front end. Anyway. All right. We, oh, Kathy. She goes, yep, love Lisa. Lisa Horton or Lisa Bernson? You got to put Lisa B. If you remember Lisa Bernson, she's a neat person. Um, I'd love you to let me know. Because Creating Keepsakes, yes, you're right. She was the editor and founder of Creating Keepsakes. That's great. You guys remember. Oh, I love it. All right. Enough of all that. I know. I'm getting the, oh, yeah. Oh, I got the big finger on that one. All right. So now we have one of our favorite um, oh, is my blouse available, Donna Lee? No, this came from my own wardrobe, but thank you for asking. Okay, so we have one of our favorite favorites, and again, it's been, what? what do Video, we? Facebook group? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. There's so many cool things to do. So Duet was very sweet. I kept sending them all my photos and all my stuff. Emily was here live. Remember, Emily's been on with us from Canada. Do you can clear a photo? First time I've ever met her in person was yesterday. She showed, she was on the air for the first time ever. She did a great job. And she was there last night. I got to see her yesterday. It was really fun. So we got a little video we want to share with you that um, Duet edited from yesterday. Look who's here. Everybody's here. EJ's here. Yay, all the crafting cuties, they're here for the show. Hey, hey crafting cuties. Hey. <laughs> because we talked a lot about yesterday. All right, every single week I feature fun things I find on our Facebook group. And if I see something, I send it to Wit and he posts it for me. Here we go. I'm going to make this short though to Wit. I'm not going to read all the comments. Yeah. This is Mary. She, I'm starting my Craft Buddies Easter Basket Pedestal. Isn't that, isn't that fabulous? So that's part of the Craft Buddy world. Um, she says, open up the package, just dive in and start placing the crystal bees. Easy peasy. Thank you for bringing it to HSN. So there you go. Next one is Trish. Now this was, Oh, this is really, you got you have multiple pictures, right? Yeah. This is her inspiration for Mother's Day's card. Uh, for my three sisters came by the way of Dollar Tree, which I go to Dollar Tree all the time for lots of surfaces. She saw the gorgeous tote bag. Then what she did is she actually cut out the bag. She used this and she used barely glue. And then she also used different pieces and different art. And here's what she made. That's the bag, you guys. Isn't that clever and cool? So she used cardstock, yada, yada, yada. So Trish, I had to post that because I thought, well, now that is clever. She just loved the print, so she went for it using that print. I thought that was brilliant. All right, here we go. Another one. Oh, she used the inside was stamped with Crafter's Companion stamp. She'd have for lots of years. So I wanted to mention it because she did use our products. So thank you for that. Next one, Amber. How cute. I just had to post this one. How cute is this? Recently crafted this one. I'm a bit of a coffee lover. Yesterday, we had a basket from... Diamond Press that completely sold out. It was very similar to that. I had picked this before I knew that was going to be on. If you missed the cute, stinking cute, as Beth would say, basket, it was very similar to this. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get it back in stock. That's another one I wish we could get back. But how cute was her coffee thing that she created? All right, did I get them all? There we go. Now we are going to move on to Lisa, finally. Okay, so Lisa is just so, she's wonderful inside and out. And again, we don't have her on enough, if you ask me. And again, I agree, she should probably be on the air more with us for sure. But she joins us, it's like probably 1.30 in the morning now over there in England. And we have great kits. So let me show you the kits first, because she's going to work on one kit, and I'm going to work on another kit. So here we go. First kit, this is what Lisa's going to be working on. It's four pieces. It's fantastic. This is a beautiful layering stencil system, which we all love. This wood, rambling wood grain, I'm all about this one. So there's your three-dimensional wood grain 
embossing folder, and here's going to be your stencils, and she can, she's going to show you how this works. Now you get all of this in this first kit. The next one are these stunning roses, and you get the layering stencils for the stunning roses. So you're also getting three of their magnificent Cloud 9 uh, blending inks. You get all three colors. This is the entire first kit. And your item number on this first kit is going to be 864824. It's $69.99 and it's four flex pays. We also have the brushes available. That's a separate item number I'll give you later. And then the kit I'm going to work with is I chose this one, which is the huge three-dimensional butterflies. They do the best embossing folders and the stencils. And I'm going to show you kind of a different couple different techniques with these. Um, that kit. The item number for it is 864-826. It's $35.99. And again, we have four flex pays for $9. So Lisa's working here. I'm working here. We're going to talk about her Ultimate. And we have another item to go along with that in a little bit. So stay with us to learn all about all this good stuff. All right, here she is, Lisa Horton, very patiently waiting from England. We love her so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hi, baby. How are you? <laughs> good afternoon. Good morning. I don't know what it is anymore. It's just late early early <laughs> hey look you got the memo on the black shirt i did i did <laughs> but i do like your earrings you see i think the earrings finish yours off oh no but i love your little headband it's so cute oh thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> okay so lisa talk a little bit about your company most everybody knows you but just in case yes. somebody doesn't give us a little uh, uh, information on that and then talk about what makes these sets so impressive yeah, so um, I've got the brand Lisa Horn Crafts. We are based in the very south of the United Kingdom in um, a, a, a gorgeous little place down by the sea. And me and my partner and my daughter run our family company. Uh, we're known pretty much around the world now for our layering stencils and our embossing folders and our um, dyes and all sorts of things. So yeah, so tonight we're going to look at the system that we use, which we created to work with our layering stencils, which is our Ultimate. And it has a peg system on it, which means you can line up all your stencils with ease. So you can do it, I can do it, my mum can do it, my grandfather can do it, DeWitt can do it, we can all do it with ease if you've got the right tools to do the job. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And I'm going to be using those amazing Cloud9 blending inks, which I didn't get to, to show too much when I was over in March, but I'm going to go into great detail about the inks as well. Perfect. Okay, so I've got to get a note in here. Rachel, she bought this kit last craft day. She says, think I'll get in my craft right. room now and craft along with you for the show. So yes, grab yes. your kit, pull it out. Lisa's going to show some different techniques with the two. And like yeah. I said, I'm going to show you a couple different techniques as well. So Lisa, I'm going to throw it back to you. Uh, let's dive in. How about? Cool. Okay, right. I'm going to switch to my overhead so you can see all my goodies. Um, the great thing about this is you're going to be able to do so many different things. I think the best thing about this is you've got the layering stencil, which absolutely work perfectly with your um, embossing folder as well. So you get both. You get the layering stencil, obviously, which is going to create that gorgeous, gorgeous background. Now, this one, this is the, the, the wood grain. Um, the rambling wood grain rose so you actually get the stencils to create that gorgeous wood grain but it doesn't put sorry to create the rose but it doesn't put the wood grain in the back you get the detail of the wood grain from the embossing folder so it's a great little set that teams up perfectly but i'm actually going to start with the gorgeous background of roses so if i bring in my ultimate now this tool is just phenomenal. It's not to say that you can't do it without the ultimate, you can, but this makes life a lot easier. And whilst we do that, I'm also gonna show you our tacky mat. Now I've got one in the pack. This is a tacky mat. These have been phenomenally successful. These are just, honestly, we can't keep these in stock. Now what these do is these sit inside your ultimate and they have um, they have a piece of acetate on the front and back, but you also get this piece as well, which is like a grid system. And it has, probably can't see it, but it has our peg holes at the top, which means it will sit over here. And then what you can do is put the, this, you know, photopolymer on top. But for tonight, I'm just gonna leave it like so. And if I just take a piece of card and show you what I mean by this, is when I pop my card down, the card doesn't move. The paper moves more, the, or the actual tool moves more than the paper does on the system. So, but it's really easy when you want to lift it up, it lifts up 
you know, like a breeze. This is gonna be really handy when you are using your layering stencils. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally pop my card um, I'm going to pop it in the top right hand corner actually like so and I lay that down and then I'm going to grab my layering stencils which are the um, background of roses and they come in this lovely little envelope so keep everything nice and safe in your envelope and then we have our stencils inside this is how yours will arrive and they are all numbered oh very tacky that bit there hang on they are all numbered and this one you probably won't see, but this is in the top middle of the stencil and it's etched in there. So grab yourself a Sharpie or something and literally mark that in black and you will kind of hide or you'll be able to see that a little bit clearer as, you know, because it's a bit hidden there. Now we take stencil number one and you use your pegs, peg holes, and you line it up on your tool like so. And then all you have to do is grab your favourite ink. So I'm just going to scooch my inks in a little bit here I'll tell you what I'm using as I know it's a little bit hidden by the um, QR code and I'm going to start with my pina colada which is my yellow ink pad and what I'm going to show you is when you mix all of these colors together you can create uh, just a ton of other colors so straight down with the yellow all over and I'm not going to worry about if I go around this edge because we'll trim it down afterwards but it will look so super cool. So straight over with the pina colada. And because I'm doing a larger area, I'm using my blending brush, but when I get to the smaller areas, I'm gonna use those gorgeous chunky brushes. Have you tried them yet, Suzanne? I love the brushes. Oh, they're cool, aren't they? They're super they're cool. really good, yeah. There's just a, there's a certain smooth texture to them that is fantastic and I, and it's funny, I was worried because I was like, oh my gosh, I've made the brush dirty and I was trying to kind of wipe it off to use another color. And and really there's not a lot of excess to wipe off. It was amazing. I don't know what you guys used on it, but they're fantastic. They're lovely. And they've got that lovely end to them. They're not like a, a flat end, are they? They've got that gorgeous chamfered looking end as well, which stops you from getting any harsh lines. And I'll show you what she's talking about. Right. Well, you can go on the, can you go the really extreme close up, um, Dwight, if you don't mind, please. I'm gonna show you what she's talking about. So here they are. I'll give you the brush number. So see that? And look at that, isn't this beautiful? And here's what's really weird. I, again, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a lot of excess to wipe off because you're gonna see me work with these two colors that I have in my tray. And you don't, I mean, I wiped off a little bit, but nothing, nothing much came off after I was using them. So I was super impressed because I just dipped right into the next color and it didn't uh, transfer color. So that was great. But these are the brushes. Let me give you all the item number on the brushes. You get three of them and they are 137, Five seven six seven one three seven five seven six seven. You get all three of these. You get that really cool beveled edge, and they're three different sizes as well. All right, we can go back to Miss Lisa. Right, and so what I'm doing, I'm just on stencil number two, and this has got quite a lot of open areas. So I just hold it down with my fingers, and I just make sure that it doesn't scuff. So don't be too. Um, don't be too harsh with it. Just take it gently and just pop your ink all over these. Oop. Lisa, if you can hear me, keep going. <laughs> and I will commentate until we get her back on. So what it's happens? Oh, it's on her end. Well, um, can you text her and just tell her to keep going? Because what, what happens to the layering stencils? It's so cool, guys. So you can you run through your embossing folder i'm going to show you my technique in just a second and then you go through and it's one layer after another and they're all numbered and the results that you get that's what's going to blow your mind with her 3ds i have never seen anything like this before and you know god knows we've all been doing this for a long time many of us especially those of you who know lisa bernson is oh, are you there is she back yes should be Talk. i heard her for a second Oh, Agnes says she'd love, oh, I'll do some comments. Uh, let's see, Lucy says, I hope to see Lisa on craft day for a longer amount of time so we can see a proper demonstration. Well, that's kind of, um, Lou, what we do here, like we try to give you guys, we don't have a lot of time on the air, unfortunately, to, to really go long on any product. We've got to do a lot of products, right? It's just, it's
it's kind of the nature of the beast. Um, but that's what we do here. Like we're able to really dive in with Lisa and our guest and really show you a lot of great techniques and a lot of ideas. So that's kind of the purpose of our show. Agnes says she loves the tacky mat. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it and I think I'm loving it too. Kathy said, yes, need Lisa on HSN for more time. She needs her own one hour shows. Oh, that's, I, I, well, hopefully we can grow to that. That would be amazing. Tom, let's see. Oh, Tom says, can't even imagine life without the Ultimate uh, any more, LOL. I use it for everything. And don't start me on the lovely tacky mat. <laughs> That's awesome, Tom. Don't start me on that lovely tacky mat. Uh, first time I'm using tacky mat, and I'm all about it. Um, we're going to switch to my camera here in a second, but I've got it in here, and it is. Now, here's a good thing she didn't mention. This is huge, you guys. We're going to get the tacky mat. And I'll give you the item number for it. This is washable. A lot of times you think, oh, is it going to stay tacky? And then you got to use it and then get another one. No, what you do is you're going to run this under warm water with a little bit of detergent, like soap, you know, like dish soap. You let it dry and it goes back to its tackiness. So you don't have to buy another one. You just buy this one and you get to keep using it and using it and using it and using it. And like Lisa said, oh, I almost heard her again for a second. Like what Lisa said is it holds it. It doesn't, st oh, there she is. Lisa, you back? Can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. I was giving um, tacky mat lessons on how to clean it. <laughs> oh, excellent. So sorry about that. Um, my battery ran out. I don't know what happened there. It's obviously not charged itself very well for the day today. It's been plugged in all day, but... The live TV, of course, that's always going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> oh, of course. Absolutely. You know it. Okay. So I was just explaining the layering. And I was explaining the tacky mats washable. That's all I said. Yeah. Literally run it under the tap and it will be absolutely fine. Just leave it to dry naturally and it will be, it will be just wonderful again. And it's not really, really sticky. It's just a little bit tacky. So if you find that it's not really sticky, don't panic. That is the way it's meant to be. It will be absolutely fine. But it's so handy to have. Hey, Lisa, talk a little bit about the inks and why you love them and what you can do with them. Okay, so our blending inks are a little bit different because they are like a chalky surface. And when they dry, they 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 dry very matte. And what it, this means is that you can add color over the top of other colors. So, for example, what I'm going to do now is I've now got yellow here, yellow here and yellow here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pink and I'm going to put the pink over the top of the yellow. Now, normally it would just kind of cover up that yellow. But what will happen here is it will turn that yellow into like a peachy color. So they blend together rather than become colors that sit on top of each other, if that makes sense. And you can use them for water reactive techniques. You can use them for faux bleaching. You've got so many ways of using them. You can use them for your stamping as well. And they just are a really easy ink to use. And when I lift this off, you'll see what I mean. So you can see how those colors change. And how are you finding it with the blue? Are they, the, are they is that the surfs up that you've got there? Uh, yes, I'm using Surf's Up that comes with it. It's oh, The blue is stunning. Like, look at how pretty that color is. It's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And, then, it's gorgeous. and I just want to show them, Lisa, what I did. So instead, my project, I decided, and you'll see the final project in a second. I decided that I loved these butterflies that were kind of flying up in that angle right there. So for my final project, I did not color the whole thing. So what I'm using is this almost as just a mask. So I'm taking it, if you notice, and I'm just using parts of the stencil to do to mask off everything else so that I don't affect the white part. And again, like I said, in a little bit, you're going to see um, my result. But I just want you to see how I'm using this a little different than Lisa. Instead of doing the whole thing, I'm just masking off parts of it. So when you look at these stencils, certainly maybe think about that as an option when you're using them. Yeah, it's crazy how the colors change as well. So you can see here, I've put the blue over the top of the yellow and it's turned it like a teal color. And now when I go back over again, I'm now going to go over this purple with the blue and you'll see how that's going to turn into this gorgeous kind of purple color like so. And then over the yellow and because it's blue again, it will turn it green and I'll pop in some color down here. But what I will do is there's this particular flower. It's really big and really detailed. So I'm just going to go around the edge of that one. But what I will do is bring in my stencil brush with the yellow and I will fill in some of that in the center. So we start to change up how our flowers start to look. 
So they're going to look super pretty and really, really different tones in different areas. So let's grab some of these little tiny bits here and lift up. Can you see how that's filling in? So beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. And then to get the leaves, I'm going to just come in with the yellow because we haven't got a green ink. I'm going to do yellow all around here. And then the beauty of it is if I put the blue over the top, it would turn all of that yellow green because obviously blue and yellow make green. And that's mm. as difficult as it gets with my stencils and my inks, because what I wanted them to do is I wanted you to be able to have just a few inks and be able to do something magical rather than having to have kind of a ton of inks and spending a lot of money on maybe colours that you might not use all the time. But with these, you are definitely going to use these very, very often. Look at that. Look how, look at, and, the, and I'm just using them a straight color and they're kind of blending a little bit too, but isn't that beautiful guys, how that works out? It's just amazing. So here's the other thing I'm going to do on mine, which is a little different is I have some gorgeous uh, luster wax. And what I decided to do, because again, I wanted to keep this very different. I wanted to just highlight a few of the, um, have these pop where the rest would kind of sit more in the back. So my next step for my project, and again, remember I am using the um, the beautiful butterflies, which are available. I think they're a little around 30 some dollars. And this is gonna give this this really kind of pinky pearlized look. And that's what I'm gonna do on all, and I'll show you what I'm doing here, is right there, see how it's kind of, I'm gonna change the background to this luster. But that's such a great shot so you guys can see how truly dimensional her 3D embossing folders are. <laughs> you can see, like, look at this. It looks like the, these butterflies are almost just going to fly off the page. It's so amazing. And there you can see kind of that pearlized effect. So um, again, hopefully that's just a couple of quick little ideas that you can use these stencils for a little different than um, kind of the traditional way of using them, which is fun. And Lisa, I bet um, you have found a lot of people have come up with some clever ideas using your stencils in your three dimensional um, folders. Honestly, some people, I look at some things that people do with them in my group, and it's incredible. Some people um, put ink on the reverse, and then they, so what they do is they put ink on the reverse of a card, and then they put black ink inside the folder. And what it does, it puts, it turns all the areas that would normally be white into black card and then all the detailed areas kind of pop through. It's a really hard thing to explain. It's a really simple process, but it's a really cool look. And then other people use wax with them. Other people, I mean, they do um, things like, um, they, they just color it like you've done. They color in just areas. They don't do the whole thing. Some use the stencils and the folders. Some, you know, mix and match. Um, different colors that I wouldn't even dream of doing and some of them when they use it on black card they do some incredible things with black card so so many ways of using these it's it's just they're a really handy thing to have as well and when you're looking for quick cards as well and people look at them and go wow that must have taken you ages Forever. to do and it doesn't right. that's what I love I do too. Honestly, I love like, oh, you must have spent so much time on it. Oh, yes, of course I did. Like, nope, not really. I just ran some paper nope. through, you know, through the <laughs> embossing folders. Okay, so um, uh, Medallia, Migdalia says, can this work with water brush? I'm guessing you need water, the water ink? brush. Yeah. Oh, can, yes. you, can you use it, them as water? How would you do that? Uh, very easily. So actually, let me show you. So let me just show you that first. That's how that's come out. That's absolutely beautiful. And we'll cut that out in a second. Now, let me just grab another piece of cardstock. My drawer is going to squeak. So apologies just for a second. There we are. And I grabbed my watercolor card. You don't have to use watercolor card, but it's just what I've got to hand. Um, what you can do is if you take your ink, for example, this is how wonderful the inks are. So you can do something as simple as this as a little background. Okay. Add that ink and then we'll add some blue ink as well. And afterwards, it would all make sense in a second. And then we'll add some water to this and you'll see the reaction with the water. So you've got the pink and the and the blue there and you've got the mix in the middle that creates that purple. Now, 
I'm not being fussy about where this ink goes just because I want to show you really quickly. And I'll pop some more pink down here. So we've got a real, a real deep color of ink there. Now I'm going to grab my water bottle and I will literally unscrew it. And if I just take my end of my bottle and I pop the water down like this, you will see the colour lift. Okay. I'll give it a second right. and that will lift really quickly and you'll see it come into life before your eyes. And that is That's our great. faux bleaching technique. So if I now dab that, all that colour comes away. And it becomes like a bleach. Oh, that's back great! Isn't that so isn't use, that really, use, really cool? Just regular old water. That's all. Regular water, okay. or if you've got a paintbrush. So let me also do this. I'll move that one out of the way. Let's use just lose that blue because it will show up well on camera. So I'm just going to pop some ink down here. Let's bring in that water again miss that that now has become a watercolor paint and you can grab your brush pick up the color and paint with it i've obviously got some green on that brush already but you can see straight away you can absolutely paint with these they are they're awesome really really good all round inks they are that's great i'll wipe that up now and then move that out of the way. Yeah, so you can see the different kinds of things you can do with them. You don't just have to use them for your blending. You can certainly do lots of different things with them. That's awesome. And then you start combining the colors, then you have can do all that on top of it. Um, all right, so let's see. Oh, Betsy wants to know, what is the luster, luster wax I'm using? I'm using Sizzix, and it's called their Luster Wax. And the color is really gorgeous. It's called Lilac Rainbow. So it's, it's Sizzix Luster mm -hmm. Wax. Um, yeah, I know. It's, it's really, when you see it in person, I'll show you. This is part of the finished card. If we can go to the tight shot again. Um, whoop, let me go this way. Okay, so see how that is kind of a pinkish pearl color? And then this is the one, this is wow. the bigger one I was working with. But isn't that luster wax pretty? Lisa, do you have luster waxes, though? I don't want to dismiss if you have them. No, I do. Well, the, yes, they're on their way. They're on the water at the moment. They're on their way <laughs> okay. to me. So we will have. But, you know, you're talking of luster wax. Um, I've got some samples here. Look at this, what I did with, um, what's my wax? I think mine's Stamperia wet wax okay look at this show you that oh beautiful oh that's gorgeous so just silver and gold wax on there and it doesn't it make a difference just with a little bit of wax it's amazing it's stunning like that is as, as elegant as you can imagine and that's not hard you just ran it through the embossing folder and just used your gold wax on it right that's it. All I've done, literally all I've done. Actually, look, I've got one here. Here's a black one. Just let me just show you a tiny bit of gold wax. I mean, any any water based wax will work, but all you need to do is literally straight over the top. Like so, and it brings that folder to life. Let me just do a little bit there for you just to show you one side. And that's as difficult as it gets. So when I lift that up, you'll see that shining so that's through. Stunning. So, so yeah, really, really easy to use with your waxes as well. So so many different things you can do with folders. It really is. So that's I'm going so to move true. that out yeah. of the way. And I'm going to move that out of the way. Oh, by the way, the Ultimate 2, what I didn't tell you was up here... You get this little hole up here and you get the same in the bottom okay just at the bottom there i won't open that one but in there let me show you what you get you get this stylus tool and then you get you don't get the magnet i've just used the magnet to hold my bits on you get this 
and then you get your. <laughs> glad you're holding reason. your bits on. I'm so glad you're holding your bits on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wouldn't want you to lose the bits. Um, I don't want to lose my bits, do I? That would be dangerous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, in one end here, I've I've actually got my pokey tool in this end, and all you do is you unscrew the lid and you press down, and you remove. Uh, what's in there and you replace it with one of the other nibs and then you screw that back on and then that's your lid, that's your lid to go on on the other end you have your wax pickup tool which is great for your gems and your bits and bobs and obviously you get your three different ends and then you get this now this is your peg die so this means like say you've got um, a, a Sizzix uh, stencil or you've got you know you use a Cricut and you make your own stencils you can use this die to cut into your card like so and then that means you can create your own stencils that works on our system using all the other brands out there on the market so this is a really handy little tool to have and that's housed inside your ultimate if you do get one of those and let me give you the item number for that, everybody. If you want to get the Ultimate, it is in stock. It's the Ultimate 2. It's 134-6024. Um, by the way, there's also a scoring side on this. So if you need to score, which we do all the time, it's $51.99 right now for Flex. Do not forget to get all your orders in before midnight because we have um, uh, $5.50 that's all you pay to ship all your crafting goodies, but it does end tonight at midnight. So one three four six zero two four for that. Now I'm going to show you something else about her three dimensionalness. <laughs> what I did was I did a, um, I, I ran it through, you know, and obviously I decided I was going to cut out individual uh, butterflies. So here's what happens, and this is just using black ink. But what I love is look how, if it was not dimensional, you would not see the white lines of the butterfly. That would not come across right. It has to have a lot of dimension wow. so that the ink catches it properly. You know, it's kind of what you're going for, right? So again, if you could look at her designs, you could say, oh, I'll just cut those out individually. And then in a second, I'll show you once again that the other idea or the other the card I'm making with this. So, you know, certainly look at her stuff and think about just fussy cutting out some pieces. And again, curving these. I'm going to bend and curve them a little bit and bend and curve it, and then I'm gonna stick this and make a card out of this too. But Lisa, I just wanted to show that technique because th you do have a lot of pieces yes. in your um, designs that you can cut out and fussy cut and use. Absolutely, and one of your butterflies would look gorgeous on the front of my card actually, wouldn't it? I, I wish I could give it through the screen and hand it to you. <laughs> yeah, hand it to me, hand it to me. <laughs> there you go, there, there, you go, wait, meet me in the middle. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you got to just take it. Oh, I, wish, take it. I really wish I had one. <laughs> it would be so funny if that happened. Wouldn't that have been great? Oh, we could have coordinated it. That would have been so awesome. <laughs> next time. Oh, we'll figure it out next time. <laughs> oh, I would, if that had happened, I would have been really scared and think, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, So I thought I'd show you some samples as well, because we haven't seen many samples of, of what we've done with some of these. So look, all you would do with this now, that's the three color inks. So literally all you would do is run that through your embossing folder so where's my embossing i'm trying to do too much in too little time where's my folder all you do is take your embossing folder and you would I pop it onto black card so you can see what you're doing and then you literally place it inside your folder and you line it up like so all you do and then you run it through and that is as difficult as it gets and then you can pop it onto your card and you, all you'll need is a little sentiment with it. And you'll see from some of the samples, that's exactly what I've done. So let me bring in a few I've got here. Now, if I move that out of the way. Now, this is this one is really plain and it's done with our anthracite ink pad. And it might be on your website, but if not, we'll make sure we get it to you because it's such a beautiful color and it's one color. And all we've done is press a little bit lighter and a little bit harder in places and then we've used a much smaller version and we've literally used any excess ink that we've had on our brush to brush across the top of the folder to give it a really super cool look and then I love this so similar to what I've done here with, with my um stenciling there we've done it again here but this one we've embossed so 
when you hold these up, you can really see the difference. You can almost see how flat that now looks compared to the one that's been embossed. So that's you can amazing. trim them down and make them look gorgeous. And obviously you've seen that with the wax, which is amazing. And then look at this. So this is the rambling wood grain. And this I've literally not used the whole folder um, or the whole stencil. And I haven't even used the embossing folder on this one. And I've literally used that in the corner and made that into a really, really pretty card. And then on this one, Again, I've used a piece of the folder and I've done it on blue card. So don't keep, don't stick to white card all the time. You can do it on other color cards and it looks really, really pretty. And actually in the background here, what I've done is I've embossed the whole thing onto the card blank and then I've stuck my artwork on top. And that's the curved rectangle die, which I think is also available as well. Beautiful. And then just a few more. I've got the gorgeous butterflies that you're working on. And, and and actually what we've done here is similar to what you've done is we've cut one of the butterflies out and put some some wax on it. So it kind of stands proud, which looks great. And just a couple more. Again, cut that lovely butterfly out. But like you say, the dimension you can see is brilliant. That's good. And just using the folder and no, no color really, other than the color of the paper. And just a really cute little card as well. Oh, so, so cute. many ways of using them. And that is just using those colors of inks as well. No other colors were involved. I love that, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my final project. That's the one, remember I fussy cut it out, the um, butterflies. So the one I used, the luster wax, just so you guys can see it. I guess we'll go to my, Overhead, oh, that's perfect. So this is the one with the luster wax, and then I isolate, remember I used the stencils and just isolated out the butterflies and then finished it off with oh, that yeah. great wax. And obviously I just need to put a little sentiment up there. This, yes. I really love playing with black and white, so this is gonna be another card. So those are my butterflies. And then I, I just like did, that. isn't that, it's an Anna Griffin um, die in the back and the butterflies on top, you know, obviously add a little sentiment right there. So I really hope between Lisa and myself, we've inspired you guys. Lisa, I do want to get a couple more comments in before we have to wrap it up. Um, Absolutely. Everybody's saying gorgeous, beautiful, gorgeous. Myrna says the ultimate two is great. It is. Joyce is beautiful. Suzanne, thank you. Tom says great idea, Suzanne. Uh, we And again, thanks, Jesse, uh, Jessica. She's putting in the ultimate two item number for everybody. Jeffrey says happy crafty Tuesday. Oh, I love that. Kathy says lovely. EC, so beautiful. Lisa, Myrna, just beautiful. Cheryl, oh my goodness. Uh, we have Tom says gorgeous samples, Lisa. Joy says loving these. We have Kathy says love, love, love that die set. Um, then we have Dana says lovely cards. Uh, Melanie says embossing folders brings to life. It makes it a wonderful 3D card. Sure does. I mean, that's that's what yes. you find with Lisa's embossing folders. They just pop. And then when you get and you add that stencils, or you can just use the stencils by themselves and do it completely flat and just, you know, have a ball with it as well. Lisa, is there any other couple tips you want to share with us before we have to wrap up tonight? Yeah, what I would say is again with when you're using your ultimate, just remember you don't have to use it. Let me just flick you over very quickly. You don't have to use it this way with your pegs there. If you want to turn it round, you can use it sideways as well. Remember, do what works for you. When you look at the stencils, you'll see on the, the, the pegs holes are marked on the side. So if you want to make sure you're working the same direction, you want to follow the packaging, absolutely do it that way as well. And all I would say is don't be too hard on yourself. My but the thing I would say to you is the first one you do is always the worst one you do. And you learn so much from that very first one. And everything after that, you would look like you are the most incredible artist. You genuinely will. Um, I just want a couple of notes. Heidi said she just got her tacky mat today. Can't wait to use it. Yay. Well, we've got the tacky mat in stock. So grab it from us if you can. Um, Joyce says gorgeous. Jeffrey says outstanding cards. Um, uh, Gala said beautiful. It's so nice to see these being demonstrated. It is. And that's really what, as Lisa knows, that's what Tuesday night's all about is we really get to do yeah. deep dives into some of these yeah. idea and get so many ideas so you always got to tune in on tuesday nights with us for our facebook and youtube live event all right lisa i gotta let you run i know it's in the wee early hours there in england but as it always is. we love you and thank you for hanging out with us tonight thank you so much for having me it's been lovely to be here
Lovely to see you. Bye, darling. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. And, and again, please go on hsn.com and check out everything. So in review, really quickly, use your scan code that was up there a second ago. We'll pop it up one more time for you. That's how you're going to go to all of our products that we feature on our Tuesday night shows. So remember, we had the whole roses kit. There was the giant roses kit. I'm going to do it if you can just pop up. for There we go. Giant roses kit with the three inks. We have the butterfly kit. That's what I worked. Lisa was working with these. I was working here. We have the tacky. This is so cool. The tacky mat. Uh, that's available tonight as well. That she showed you how that worked. Um, that's available. Ultimate is available too. So if you want to get Ultimate 2, there it is. Turns over to be a scoring system as well. You'll love this. Love it, love it, love it. This is going to work back here. Have I covered it all? And then, of course, you can go to a, oh, and the brushes. You have the brushes as well. So all you have to do is go to that little scan. Look, I can't find it. Where am I with this? The scan code, right? <laughs> Thanks, DeWitt. I, I would never be a good weather person. Scan code right there. There you go. If you just go there, you'll see everything. So I'm not going to give the item numbers again because I know we run out of time. As always, you know I love you so much, guys. Yes. One second. I just, at the top of the show, I felt like we, we touched on it. I just wanted to say personally how great it was to be included in that event yesterday. And we know it's a great crafter community we have, but those ladies accepted me. We were there. We are having a great time. And I just, I think it was fantastic, and we really do need to do it again. Oh, I hope we do. Absolutely, guys. Okay. And just remember, 550 to fill your cart. Till the end of tonight, that's going to end. So get all your crafting fun stuff ordered. And next April 23rd, which is next Tuesday, we will be here live. Um, Diamond Press, Beth Kingston's joining us, which Ooh. she's crazy. So that'll be fun. That's going to be at 8 p.m. I will post it on our group page as well. And again, yeah, to your point, I just want to add to that. Yesterday was wonderful. For all of you who joined us in the studio, thank you. For all of you who watched yesterday and shopped with us, thank you so much. We love all of you because you are indeed the most important things to us here at HSN. So I'll say goodnight for now. Bye. I'll see you on the air soon. Love you so much, Crafting Cuties.